Hi and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I will be testing a 24 inch LED TV from LG as a monitor. For the first test, I have it plugged into my computer through a DVI to VGA adapter because I'm using a VGA cable to go to the TV. And the best resolution we could get with this method 1366 by 768 which is 720p okay so now instead of the VGA I'm gonna use this HDMI and uh, DVI to HDMI adapter and see how that works first just shut down the monitor okay there we go there's the VGA so first, let's see, let's grab the HDMI, okay, so I got the HDMI plugged in, okay, unhook this, because we're not going to be using this anymore. As you can see, that's just a regular DVI connector. So, first I'm gonna hook in the adapter. All right, tighten those. All right, we got that working. Okay, now, Simply so try on the monitor. It's a lot of reflection. And you know what? It's set on RGB PC. Let's change the input. Oh, oh look, we got a cat on the picture. <laughs> Alright, let's move. smaller seems like you know what wow I have to say it doesn't seem to look better everything seems smaller that's for sure interesting uh, that doesn't look clear let's see does not seem clear. Oh, look at the resolution. Okay, that's not. Now we can do 1080p. Hmm. Wow, that does not look good actually. Let's, let's change the resolution. Do you see how blurry it is? I mean, granted, this is a 720p monitor, but for some reason it supports this resolution. But it's just not very awesome. You can't even see the time, you see the whole taskbar is missing. So let's change this to the resolution we had before. Okay, so here's the LG TV working as a monitor and my parents love this resolution. The letters are very large and crisp and for them it's perfect. For me, I enjoy a much larger resolution because I like to do um, a lot of things on my screen at once which means you know I like to open up several windows side by side. For that you need a large resolution. But for people with um, nearsightedness will probably enjoy the size of the letters and everything. So here's another website. And you can see the letters 
are awesome you know very nice and clear and here's the beauty so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this remote that came with the TV and I want you to see this I'm gonna hit the input button I'm gonna hit it one more time and now it's switching to the component connection Okay. Oh, you know what? I actually have to hit back because the the speakers on this thing are very weak. Okay, so here I actually wired the sound into the line in. Let me just turn that up. You are my best friend. Okay. So now let's switch the input. And now, you can enjoy this thing as a TV. Switch back. I'll simply hit the input, put it back to HDMI PC, that's it. And since I routed the sound, I'll just click that. So on the back of the TV, here's the connectors you have. Here's your VGA, here's HDMI, this is how I have it running to the computer. Here's how I have my uh, TV running uh, with the component cables, red, green, and blue. And the sound I don't have plugged in because I actually have the sound ported into the sound card of my computer. And here's the regular coaxial cable plug-in. So not a lot of um, connectors on the back of this thing. But for the cost, I mean, you are getting a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, you can use this as a monitor. And for those people who enjoy larger letters, obviously you could modify it with software. This thing is perfect. My parents love this thing. And, you know, there's the DVI to HDMI adapter. So, overall, great TV and a pretty good monitor. The only weakness are the speakers. The speakers are very weak. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you enjoyed this video. In fact, I would actually appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button. It's somewhere below right here. And also, you know what? You might as well subscribe to my channel. Why not, right? You never know what I'm going to make next. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one.